My name is Craig Chamberlain and you're watching the Faster 8 series only on the PCM Tech Help Show. In the previous video, we installed a vast free antivirus, and as I've said before, it's one of the good free antiviruses out there, but it's not necessarily the best. A lot of that is open to interpretation, but I've had a lot of really good luck with it, so I always recommend it to my users. Now, in today's video, we're going to actually go through some more interesting things and actually customize our Avast installation so that it's actually running the way we want it to run. Now, the first thing we're going to want to do is register it because you only get 30 days if you don't register your version of Avast. So let's go ahead and select register and see how easy this is. Now, of course, Avast makes money if you decide to upgrade and get additional protection on the left-hand side. If you feel like you need those protections, Avast is a decent product for commercial use, but I usually recommend moving to something like Kaspersky or ESET NOD32. You also have the option to do internet security, which has a lot of additional features as well. Right now, we're just gonna register for the free protection, and it's gonna bring up our registration. I'm just gonna go ahead and enter my first and last name, and I'm gonna enter my email address, pcmtechhelp.com, and click register with email address. And it is officially registered. At that point, I'm gonna go ahead and select stay with basic. Now, as you can see, just by entering my email address, I get 365 days. Now, when that day amount is up, I will just have to re-register and I'll get an additional 365 days. Now, let's get into the actual customization part of our Avast antivirus. As an overview, your obvious scans and things like that are right here on your home section in the top left-hand corner. You can select security and look at what's going on in real time between your cloud and your device for establishing security. It'll show your file system that's being scanned at every, uh, any given time, your web shield, which is also being scanned at any given time. It'll also give you your mail shield, your network shield, peer-to-peer, -peer, IM, behavior, and script shield. All of these are built right into the Avast software package. If we go to maintenance, we can look at more in-depth detail on basic maintenance with the device. You can see what viruses you've actually gotten rid of, where your scan logs are at, what your registration status is, and whether or not you can update or have updated recently. But for the most part, at this point, you're going to go to a market and you can see if there's any additional protection you want to purchase. And there's some recommendations that they'll give you as well for different software packages. And again, they've got a support line as well for those of you looking for support. In this video, we're more interested in this top right corner option right here called settings. This will bring up what looks to be intimidating, but it's really not that bad once you just take your time with each section. For basic settings, of course, you can disable your tray icon in the bottom right hand corner, or you can disable the animation. You can also go through and add some additional behavior there. You can do your updates to the top left hand corner and decide how you want it to do updates through manual or automatic modes. You can also select cloud services if you want to change reputation or streaming updates. These are pretty much self-explanatory once you've read them. Pop-ups, you can modify the way that the pop-ups occur, how often they occur, or if they don't happen at all right here in the actual pop-up section. For virus chest, you can choose the size of the chest before it actually cleans it out. For virus alerts, you can have it send emails automatically to you if you receive or it finds a virus. Very cool feature if you're installing it on a client or your mom's computer, by the way. Global exclusions, if you want to exclude certain files from the scan that will be detected as viruses, you would enter that file or select that file through the browse section here. You can do the same thing for websites. The URLs, you can enter a web address that it will bypass. You can also protect Avast with a password if you don't want your kids getting in and changing the settings, or if you think a virus may infect Avast, this will actually add an extra layer of protection. Browser integration allows you to install your plugin right into the browser, will get will give you additional protection on your web browser. Web rep and anti-phishing are pretty much built-in filters that are separate, and they will actually allow you to get additional protection on your web surfing. Site correct actually makes sure you do you are not being redirected to fake sites. It will redirect you to the proper site when that occurs. Silent in gaming mode is very popular for a lot of people so that because they do not like pop-ups. And if you do silent pop-ups and uh, gaming mode, you won't be notified at all when things occur. Very popular for a lot of gamers. 
Then you have your status bar for monitoring certain shields, your language, what sound effects you would like, your current account settings. I'm based on your email address, of course. You can participate in the community and send uh, anonymous statistics here. You can go to maintenance and see how often you want it to update and remove old data. Software updater will tell you whether or not you want to run the automatic update of your software. And then, of course, you have troubleshooting, which will allow you to set up your factory defaults and actually set up some diagnostic utilities as well. So that's all there is to this video. It's a complete overview of every option you have on the antivirus software. One thing I do like to do is if you click the... Uh, if you click the home button here, if the smiley face is there, you're usually in pretty good shape, especially if it's winking at you. Quite disturbing, yes? And if you go to your actual security and you go down to tools, you can also look at your browser cleanup and actually do a complete cleanup of your browsers. You can do site blocking and something called Access Anywhere, which will let you remotely control a computer. Now, this is the only available to the professional, but not, uh, not the standard version. Other than that, you're pretty much good to go. That's all you need to know about a vast free edition. And there's a lot of other features that are available in the uh, professional editions. But really, like I said, I think this is more than adequate for most users who are out there for standard antivirus protection. So thank you for stopping by and watching this video. I know it's a little long, but there's a lot to a vast free antivirus. Hopefully it was comprehensive enough to keep your attention. As always, you can stop by my website at pcmtechhelp.com. Don't forget to join the community if you have questions at pcmtechhelp.com forward slash community. It is a Google Plus community, so it's completely free. Also, you're, my name is Craig Chamberlain, and you're watching the PCM Tech Help Show.